Earlier on Badminton Unlimited, we spoke to top Irish mixed doubles pair Sam and Chloe McGee. We turn our attention now to their brother, Daniel McGee, a former Irish men's doubles national champion, who's committed himself to the development of badminton in Ireland. I started my coaching career in 2010. Uh, basically, I was coming to the end of my playing days. So I had to make a choice whether to continue playing and really go for it or get into my coaching. And thankfully, there was a lot of big changes happening in Bampton, Ireland, where I got the opportunity to go into coaching as we're going to start a national system back in Ireland. Because previously, the guys were away training in Denmark, they were away training in Sweden. So we wanted to set up a base at home and try and produce players that could reach Olympic level. I can still remember going into Merino Hall the very first day. So 2012 was the launch of the academy, and since then we've spread a number of academies all around Ireland, uh, and we also have four academies in Dublin itself. So we're catering now for 150 players. Uh, we have some very good coaches who are Bampton World Federation qualified coaches leading in different areas in Ireland. So Ireland's made up of four provinces, and in every province we've got a level two Bampton World Federation coach who's taking a cell and then feeding these players into the main system here in Merino and into our national training centre. We've got a group of players that are really committed. Um, we've got that challenge, as you said, about other sports. Rugby is really big, soccer is really big. We've got a number of other sports that we have to compete with. But thankfully, we are now starting to get top athletes that we've wanted to get into Bampton because Bampton is becoming much more popular. We've got like a base of 13,500 members which is growing every year. Ever since the Olympics in London we have had an increase in numbers uh, and thankfully we're getting more and more kids that are really focused on being elite players and really are focused on doing what they can to be the best that they can. Uh, we've got players travelling from an hour and a half, two hours to get here to train. Uh, we've got players who are really committed, training five days a week. We've got guys balancing out their studies and then hoping then to go on and continue to play on the elite circuit. I've got multiple goals for the academy, but uh, one of the big things is I want to have more and more academies around Ireland. But not only that, I want to use the coach education system we have to produce good coaches at shuttle time level one, level two, in every county in Ireland. So there's 32 counties and if every one of those counties have good coaching staff working with young players, producing them, doing the right training with them, then we're going to grow such a much bigger base of players that will filter into our academies, more and more academies growing and then filtering them into our high performance training. Then we can have a more competition with the countries that have bigger numbers playing and competing at a young age. So my goal is to keep growing that and uh, to make our system one of the top in Europe. My name is Sean and I'm 15 and I've been to the academy for three years. My name's Orla, I'm 16 and I've been in the academy for about four years. I really like the sport because it's really fast and competitive and I enjoy competing in competitions around Ireland. I've been coming here for four years and I love how there's a lot of players to play against and the sparring is really good here. The coaches are really good and I've improved my technique a lot from the coaching. They helped me a lot to improve in my technique. When I first started playing I wasn't as good but coming here made me stronger and sparring with players here was really good. My ambition is to play seniors for Ireland and hopefully win a national title as well. My ambition is play senior for Ireland and maybe play at the Olympics one day. <laughs> <laughs>